San Francisco rental prices down 50% already. What up, YouTube? It's your boy Jermaine back with another video. Now, guys, this is a crazy one here. Now, first off, I think a lot of you guys have, have heard the latest news how, you know, the rental, the rental prices are down 20.4%. Well, 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 that's the average, okay? That is the average. When we look at this chart here, this shows San Francisco here on th this blue line that's just falling off the charts here. And then if we look at the one, the, this purple line, the one in the middle here, this is for California, which is... Looks like everything's in California. You know, the average in California is down 4.6%. But then if we look at the average for the whole country, it's only down 1. You know, 4%. So that's not bad. Looks like things are just looks like things are just having a really, really bad time in San Francisco right now. Ooh. Okay, guys. So now I thought uh, I would just show you guys some units. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to Facebook Marketplace, and this is Facebook Marketplace right here. Facebook Marketplace, you can, you know, look for apartments for sale. You can look for, you know, a bicycle, a used car. You can buy all sorts of things on Facebook Marketplace. So one cool thing about Facebook Marketplace, you can, um, you can find apartments. So right now, you can just look at the city, and believe it or not, the whole entire city is affected very differently. Down in Soma, there's a lot of units that are just sitting there. In other parts of the city, you know, other parts of the city is a little bit more desirable. Maybe it has more of a neighborhood feel, and a lot of people definitely prefer that whole neighborhood feel versus the whole, the you know, the Soma feel, the whole big building, skyscraper, loud buses, trucks, homeless people, all that action, the downtown action, basically. So what we're going to do, we're going to look at the downtown action because that's that that's where a lot of the units are and that's where um that's where some of the that's where some of the deals are and some of the the the, the, the 50 percent off units or units that are pretty close to 50 percent off so what we're going to do is we're just going to zoom in here and we're gonna I, i'm not going to click on any personal units i'm only going to click on the corporate units because a lot of um apartments advertise on facebook just because people are looking on facebook so let's just dive right into this really fast so first off, um, this is a neighborhood that I know has been really affected. Anywhere up along Market Street is going to be very effective. Um, also, just certain buildings in certain areas. Um, let's start near Twitter. Okay, uh, near Twitter. So Twitter is, um, I think Twitter is 10th. In between 10th and 9th and then uber is also in this area square is in this area so there's a lot of people that live in this area so let's uh let's look at some of these units here that we're going to go show list and the first one we get is okay this is fox plaza now we can already see how 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 the prices have dropped now i actually reviewed this apartment a few months ago and when i reviewed this apartment i believe if i'm not mistaken i'm just I'm going to say this off the top of my head i believe it was around 1800 dollars a month if i'm not mistaken i said that if the prices dropped down to 1500 i think i said I, I would move in and now the prices are what 1573 and they have looks like they have two studios well two floor plans available and you can even see a really, really good breakdown of the pricing here. So they got studios. Look like they're starting off at 1573, which is okay. If you guys don't know don't know much about this building, this is that. Let's see if they have any photos here. Um, now these are um, really amazing photos here on the website. I, I don't ever remember seeing this particular office when I went to view the Fox Plaza, but I did remember seeing this area. It didn't look exactly like this. I want to say it was some construction going on. But I did go view this property like a few months ago, so they, they could have totally like changed it up. Definitely didn't remember seeing anything like that. But you know, I, I like just because I didn't see it doesn't mean it's not here. Like they, they, you know, I, I just didn't see it. But um, yeah, the units look look 
look just like that. And, and the, the, well, of course they look just like this, but this is that um, building. I'm, I wanna see if they have the outside of the building on here. I don't think they have the outside of the building. Well, they they have a, a shot, but I don't think they actually have the building itself. It's, they actually don't have a photo of the building on here, but uh, it's, it's a building that I can't show you right here on Facebook easily, but yeah, this is the Fox Plaza. This is like an older skyscraper that has rent control and it has very, very slow elevators, but I'm not knocking this building. I mean, I guess I, 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 I totally would live here, but like the, the slow elevators is somewhat of, of a problem, but I, I kind of like how this one is. Um, Yeah, I kind of like how they, they give you this whole breakdown on Facebook. This is a little bit better than Craigslist, by the way. You can find some of these units on Craigslist, but the, the, the breakdown that they do on Facebook Marketplace is pretty clutch. So let's go back and Nima. I think this is Nima. This is 10th and market. No, this is this looks like a private ad. I don't want to click on any private ads because I, th th there's a lot of corporate ads. I want to just click on the corporate ones. OK, here we go. Here's a corporate ad. Um, this is uh, this is Ava 55 ninth, ninth Apartments. And now I can tell you just off the top of my head, I, I remember prices from this unit because I a friend in, a friend of mine, a friend and I, we went and looked at this this particular apartment a few years ago at the height. And I remember definitely last year the two bedrooms were going for it was going I think they were starting off at 45 if not 48 if they're starting off at 48 if i'm if i'm correct if they were starting off at 4800 this here is a 50 percent drop already in in just the two bedrooms here um i know for it was in between 4500 and 4800 it, let's just say it was 4800 4800 that would be a 50 percent drop and they have 14 it says 14 floor plans, but I've toured this building. They definitely don't have, I don't think they have 14 floor plans. I think they have 14 different, I think they have 14 different, I mean, I could be wrong. Maybe they have 14 floor plans, but I think that maybe they have 14 different available units. Um, and once again, like, you know, the Facebook marketplace, it just gives you little data. I want to do anyone even pay this walk score any attention or you know, the transit score, any attention or the, the bike score. I mean, maybe I guess if people are moving from outside the city, but like I, I really wouldn't wouldn't pay any attention. But once again, I mean, I, I'm very familiar with the city. So if you're from outside the city, maybe people would pay that stuff attention. Let's scroll out. Let's go down the street here. This this area, I would say, is very affected. Um, you could probably find some really good deals within this area just because, like I say, like, you know, you have like Twitter, you have Uber um, within this block here um, on 10th and Market in this area. And then you also have Twitter in between like 9th and Market there. A lot of people that was uh, working at Twitter lived at like at Ava, this building here, um, the, well, the building I just showed you and Ava is at 9th and Market here. And then a lot of the Uber people live just within this area. They a lot of them lived at Nima. I don't think Nima is having any deals. Um, that's like one of the tightest um, units I've I've seen around. Like they're not really giving up any deals. Nima. Um, let me see if Nima even shows up here. No, I'm gonna go. I don't, they may not even be advertising. Okay, another thing about um, when places are advertising. They don't all advertise on the same on the same time. Um, I notice on Craigslist on the weekends they advertise more. Also towards the end of the month, no, the the end of the month they don't advertise as much. I don't know why that is. Uh, I'm also I'm not a real estate agent, but like this is Nima here. They really don't really have really many deals um, as of now in the pandemic. Their studios are going for twenty eight seventy. And they have 96 units available. Now, of course, on Facebook Marketplace, it doesn't show the concessions. Now, the concessions is what they give you free. Usually, in this case, 
I would imagine they would give you like two months free. Um, but two months free being $2,800 is like, that's a lot of money. Um, versus Ava, um, Ava, I believe their, stu- um, their studios were like 2000 right? Um, so they haven't lowered their prices at all. Um, so that's just one thing to point out. I, I don't know what's going on down at Ava. Maybe they, maybe they know something that we don't know. Um, but they don't have many three bedrooms available. Three bedrooms available. They got a handful of two bedrooms available. And as you can see, they have a lot of one bedrooms available. 63 one bedroom, one bedrooms available. And look at the studios here. They have 80, no, 96 studios available. Them a lot of studios. Once again, remember what I said? The employees, Uber employees, Twitter employees, um, and also um, Square employees, they all live in that area. So a lot of them were occupying those units. So now since they, you know, doing the whole work from home thing, they're like, yo, we're going to work from somewhere else. Not from this little small box that costs $2,800 a month. So they've taken off. Let's just go down the street here. This here, what is this? Okay, so this is ninth. When we come down to eighth, there's some units here. These are the Trinity buildings. I'm not this big of a fan of the Trinity building because they're just they're just a little bit more on the uptight side. Uh, I'm just gonna keep it real. Uh, yeah, they're just a little bit on, on the uptight side. I think this is what a one bedroom, and they want twenty seven sixty seven. Now, don't get me wrong. Trinity is definitely gonna give you some concessions. They're probably gonna give you a lot of concessions, but. These prices are like some like I say, some of these prices are like lower, like like literally 50% lower. Some of these are like sort of a joke. Like this right here, this 2767, like <laughs> I think this is a joke because this building is so like inchy. What I mean by inchy, like, well, no, let me take this back. This building actually looks nice. So I, I toured this building not too long ago and they didn't did not have a stove like this in the unit I looked in. They had like a little half stove. And this looks like a legit stove. So let me take that back. Maybe this is like a luxury unit, but it doesn't matter. Like, I, I, let's see how many units they got available. Of course, they say they only have five units, but some of these places don't actually put how many units because they don't want you to know how many units. Okay, so first off, I'm going to give y'all, I'm going to tell y'all something. So it was a building I was um about to, about to view. Okay, now just think if I'm looking for a place and I'm trying to negotiate a deal and I call an apartment, um, an apartment complex and they say um, and, and, and I call them and I say, hey, I'm looking for a two bedroom and they say, oh, yeah, come on down. We got plenty of them. Well, if they say, come on down, we got plenty of them. You know, I, I'm definitely going to be willing to go down. Now, if I call a place. Especially right now in the middle of the pan- pandemic and everybody's moving away and there's deals everywhere. Everywhere you go, there's deals. It's almost more like I expect to get a deal. Like I expect to get a deal. Like if I don't get a deal, like I, I don't like I, I don't even want it. You know, I'm shopping because there's so many deals out. But I called this one place and I was like, hey, you got any um, you got 72 bedrooms available? And they said, yeah. We got, we got, we only have two left, man. We're, we're running out, man. We, we're in high demand, man. We, we only got two left. We only got two left. And you know, I made, made an appointment and all. And then I got off the phone with him. When I got off the phone with him, I actually called him back and counseled. Um, I called him back and said, hey, you know, it's one o'clock. Yeah, don't, don't, don't worry about it. Yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, don't, yeah, don't, yeah, don't, don't, don't worry about it. It's like, you're not gonna get a deal at a place that, you know, you're not you're not necessarily going to get a deal that is the type of place that they only have one or two units left. Because think about it. If you are selling, you know, if you're if you're selling something right and you have 10 of them, you're more willing to let a few of them go at a cheaper price just because you have many of them versus if you only have one or two left. If you know you only have one or two left, you may try to get maximum dollar for it. So in that case, you know, I was just like, you know, no, I don't think I want to do this because a lot of times I'll go to some of these places and I will 
like I'll, I'll basically they'll give me one price and I will see how low they will go, you know. And I just didn't even feel like haggling with with, with with that particular place. And also, whenever I go and haggle with places, I don't necessarily like share the um share the haggling online because I don't necessarily want I don't I don't want to be responsible of causing this whole haggling culture, you know. Um, but yeah, I've definitely, you know, have went to some places and they say something like 5,000 and I turn around and say, what about 4,500? And they literally quickly say, yes, it, there's not even like, let me go ask the manager or let me go make a phone call. It's just like, Oh, okay. You know? And it's like, well, wow, maybe I should ask for 4,000, you know, sometimes you just have to, you know, sometimes you just have to ask, you know, you never know. You just have to ask, you know, you you never know what, um, you never know what you may receive if you, if you don't ask. Um, here's another place that I was looking at. Well, actually, let's just let's just go a little bit farther down the market. Let's go over to the East Cut because there are. This is a, just a different market here in the East Cut. Once again, I know a lot of people are not looking in this part of San Francisco. Like I know a lot of people are not. However, this is the part of San Francisco that I'm very 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 familiar with. And I'm not very familiar with, you know, the, the other parts, you know, the parts where it's, you know, single family homes out by the beach and stuff like that. <laughs> I'm more of a, I like being downtown where the, where the, the skyscrapers are, the buildings are. Wow, look at this place. It's $20,000. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is in the Facebook building. It's $20,000 a month. Wow, it's a true luxury. Three bedroom, three and a half bath. That's insane. 2,358 square feet. I guess now I'm not touring apartments anymore. I'm just looking at them on Facebook, making videos, dreaming about them. <laughs> Let's look at the list here. Let's see what this list has. Do I have any corporate units here? I see a corporate one here. So I, this is one I looked at recently. They've lowered the price just a little bit from the last time I made that review video. This is found from Rip Folsom. Let's see. Studio. Studios is still 2000 Now, this place will definitely give you some concessions. They will give you two months free. And I got an email recently talking about two months free. And they give you $1,000 Amazon gift card. So that's not that. I mean, that's not bad. If you want to pay two thousand dollars a month, I mean it's going to be a little bit cheaper than two thousand, but not that, not that, not, not that much cheaper than two thousand. It's going to be just a little bit cheaper than two thousand, basically. Nine floor plans. Wow. This here is my favorite building in the city. However. It's really small. 475 square feet. Um, there's another area f a little bit farther up Mission that was pretty cool. Um, they had some units that were about 1,500. Yes, yes, yes. Let's go back over here in the 1,500 range. Um, I remember seeing something along 6 and Market. Yeah, here. So these places are pretty cool. I actually toured this unit and I didn't make a video when I toured this unit. It was the type of unit that, you know, I tour with the with with like a leasing agent or whatever. And I don't know, it, it just seemed like um, maybe I shouldn't maybe I shouldn't film for my other roommates, if you know what I'm saying. Um, but here I really like this floor plan because when you first enter the unit, like you enter into the the you enter into this area like the kitchen and the bathroom is like here and then you have this living area and then you have this little stairwell and you have this little loft area up top and this little loft area was like it would be perfect for like a twin size bed or something and this whole living area would be perfect to like you know have a bike or so have your desk have a couch have a computer yeah i really really like this unit i just um you know, there's so many different units in the city. So many different places to, to choose from. Now, I know for sure this unit here, 
these units were running for at least 2800 last year like at least 2800 and it's not quite has hit the 50 percent mark but these people have just really ran because this whole area it this this is like not really a bad area but when everything's closed and everybody's working from home i mean this area is just kind of like a lot of areas in the city it's just kind of dead you know while there's there's all sorts of different price points in this area okay guys so i pretty much showed you guys a, a few um different apartments in the area make sure you get a nice unit make sure you uh you know you, you, your window is not above the trash can when they pick up every morning at 5 a.m forever also make sure um you know make sure you get you get you get a good deal make sure that you know give you an amazon gift card or a peloton bike or you know a free cruise to hawaii in two and a half years when the cruise industry is open back up and selling for cruising but anyway guys it's a lot of good deals out there you know have fun uh you know stay safe thanks a lot for watching like comment subscribe peace out yo